Welcome back to Defense News Weekly. I'm Diana Stancy. The recent movie Oppenheimer tracks the development of America's atomic weapons in World War II through the eyes of one of their chief developers, Robert Oppenheimer. Also pushing the action along is Lieutenant General Leslie Groves, played by Matt Damon. No stranger to military roles, Damon spoke with Military Times' Sarah Sicard about the film and his character. Check it out. We're in a race against the Nazis. And I know what it means if the Nazis have a bomb. They have a 12 month head start. 18. How could you possibly know that? We've got one hope. All America's industrial might and scientific innovation connected here. Secret laboratory. Groves was really fun because he, um, I'd never quite had a role like that. He, um, the more I read about him, the more, you know, nobody liked him, <laughs> which was really fun. And he didn't care at all. He, he was just completely focused on what he was doing. And, um, and that kind of set up, you know, he, he's got some good moments of levity in the film because of that. Are we saying there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world? Chances are near zero. Near zero. What do you want from theory alone? Zero would be nice. And I just love that idea of that kind of tension between the military and the science community that just, because the military is just completely obsessed with compartmentalization and secrecy. And, <laughs> um, you know, as they should be, it's, you know, obviously there were people trying to steal those secrets and people... Um, you know, and it was you're talking about like a, an existential threat to humankind and but the scientists are all about kind of keeping things open and, and uh, learning from one another. And so they were philosophically totally opposed. And, and that led to this kind of natural tension between Groves and everybody else. I think they'll enjoy particularly the, you know, the, the frustration with which Groves, <laughs> what, what, what he lived with as a military person. He's, he suddenly finds himself in charge of a bunch of civilians who don't really recognize the chain of command. <laughs> and so and so that was kind of, I, I found it very funny when I read it, trying to imagine, uh, you know, a general, you know, a colonel then becoming a general kind of in the, finding himself in this situation with a bunch of people who, uh, you know, who, who he, he, he was like, he, he was like a kindergarten teacher. He was kind of herding cats the entire time. Um, and yet he's in this position where he desperately needs these people because they're the only people who can help him uh, finish his mission. So, so hopefully, hopefully this audience will get a lot out of that.